Ebusse mwa yensa akandi e friko fudia o krasse etre mwa nete se abranti webi a wen yin frinsia ebe se ebia sensi a thirty six years na wo ye moba muni operator chese vendor a wo no wo ye moba muni bin krofu se sensi kan krofu yisika wo no wo no muni adi e na no me mne de ya wa pon e juma be a na ju duba ko ebre muwa wo kofi oni yonko ba ko na chese abranti ya meka na se muni din e di Solomon wa solo eno biya de friend pa solo pa solo a chese wa pon e juma a wo kofi oni ni yonko ba ko wo mo kwa prekope ne nkrofo e bokro no otu anu ibi mi kire amro besi bi beto xe wo mo so e wo kwam e di obi a di ni ti hwi mu a chese wo dwane age ne kran kran de run for your life a chese obi a pe ba bi e fa ye nu mu ono e na kronfuru fu e je etu mu a e ko kan so la se si ame no ka se di solo en kati asefo ho bi o na nso ni nyina mu ono na akronfo en susuro e se ba ko e wo dwane ne wan hwe yi anke kamuo e ne ba bi odi ne ni kire no wa ko akoyi adom asutra medom abeto aso mu sunti wo mu dwane ya sika ne wa brante ehun kura wo mentimi amfa enu nu na chese sika wo mu gya ya ne sha brante eso lo hu a afi nu wa pon djuma no eye 8000 Ghana cedis 8900 enu e no eye itel mobile phone yi bi ene laptop a eni nyina no e ka ne ho no eyade a akronfuramfu yi esuro se ye bechi wo munti no wo mudwane ya wo mantimi amfa ni nyina me no kase di esuro aye nyankopon dia ya chese nhwehwemu eguso ekoso ewo ho so he gave me one of the backpack to hold it for him so when we crossed the road he said i should give it back to him so i gave him so he, he helped he hold one of the backpack on his left shoulder and one on the right shoulder so when we were going we were just discussing we thought that is a normal day because we have been traversing that route for about two and a half years mm, at least one third of my leisure is spent with my friend if i don't have anything so we, uh, i thought that it's a normal routine as we used to go but it was unfortunate so when we were going the place was a bit dark so we saw a certain gentleman standing there Hmm. But we couldn't, we couldn't look at his face well because the place was not all that lighted. So the gentleman pretended that he was making call. So we thought that maybe somebody is doing his call, so we have to pass by. So as we get at least almost seven meters to where the gentleman was standing, I heard a gunshot, violent one. So I took to my heels and reverse, and my friend also took to another direction so i didn't hear anything from that point so i have to see cover because maybe they are lurking around mm -hmm. so i tried to find a place to go i knock a door there was a house somewhere there nobody responded so i remember that i have an immigration officer my sister so i went to her and told her all that has happened so when i was there uh, some of my neighbors called me that my friend is dead he has been shot and I told them that I'm also seeking cover somewhere, so I will, I will not be speaking loud that maybe the guys are around, so they should wait and call me later. So later they called and I responded. I called 112, at least whether you can get an ambulance to convey my friend, but to do a bill. So later I called one Alaji, who happens to be one of our friends. So Alaji, Alaji went to the police station and reported. So they came for me where I was. And they came with a taxi and I jumped into it. And I came to the house and I also went to the police station to also report the incident. Okay. Well, sir, I